welcome to my channel. I'm Minimal Mara and I am back to share more ups and downs of adopting a lifestyle of minimalism. On this channel, I give you tips what to do, what not to do when adopting this new lifestyle. And I do this with the hopes of inspiring others to find their peace and their joy in what's most important to them in their lives. So if this speaks to you in any shape, form, or fashion, just make sure you like and subscribe and also if you've been to my channel before make sure that you click on the notifications bell so that you can receive the latest updates and watch my latest videos so with that being said let's dive into what i call my anti-minimalistic coat closet so in this closet i have about 27 coats and maybe 23 24 scarves my ultimate goal is to cut it down to six coat slash jackets and just four scarves. Here is a picture of my coat closet before decluttering. In the beginning, I owned 26 coats and jackets. To start, I grabbed my seventh generation trash bags and I packed away the coats that I knew for sure I was never going to wear again to get ready for donating to the Goodwill. Anything that was a maybe or a definite, I just kept in the closet for sorting a second time. To make things as simple as possible, I only considered one thing, the item's practicality. How useful will it be in most circumstances? Which ones will be the most effective in my everyday life? Now, I did struggle a lot when it came to cheerleading championship jackets and my college cheer jacket that just brings back joyful memories. I've learned throughout my journey that when decluttering and you find yourself in this tough position, don't sweat it. Don't get stuck overthinking or feeling bad because you couldn't dump it. Remember that part of minimalism is about filling your mental and physical space with joy and value. In remembering this, I just placed them to the side for later. two trash bags and I was very proud of myself. down to one, two, three, four, five, six coats, one heavy like winter jacket, um, one or two light comfortable jackets, one with a hood, and then my two like going out leather pleather jackets, and then I have one fashionable one which is kind of like a cape that I just like to wear when I'm dressed up. All these hangers, I really don't know what to do with them because I've also decluttered my closet. That's coming soon. And so I guess I'll just get ready soon. So that leaves me with the dreaded part of decluttering my scarves. Like I said, I have about 23 to 24 scarves. Um, everything from ugly to what I think is um, pretty cool, pretty neat looking scarves. And so I, my goal is to Declutter this and get down to about four of my favorite scarves that I can wear um, versatilely. Versatility? Versatile? Scarves that are versatile. I think that's right. I started out with 21 scarves and was able to knock it down to just six. I sorted my scarves the same way I sorted my coats by keeping my yeses and maybes in the closet for a second sorting session 
and packing away my definite no's. I found the neutral colors to be more practical, ready to wear with most outfits, and I found that the ones that stood out or were gifted to me were the ones that brought the most joy. Originally, my plan was to keep four scarves, but I ended up settling on my top six, and I couldn't be more happier with that decision. All in all, it was a great day, easier than I thought it would be. Yes, I kept my sports jackets for now, and yes, the Goodwill bags are still in my back seat. <laughs> well, this completes what I like to call phase one of my minimalistic journey. I'll be starting a new playlist all about self-care through some solo traveling. So hopefully you will stick around for phase two and watch me as I search for a life of just joyful simplicity and spiritual growth. As usual, like subscribe, comment what you think. I would definitely appreciate it. And once again, happy decluttering.